1921, we had a city that didn't do that. It was a successful community where black Americans had agency over their own lives, and it was burned to the ground by resentful white neighbors. We meet Joy McCondici, the granddaughter of a survivor, who tells us that both black and white families kept what happened quiet for different reasons. Black folks at the time who went through this did not pass down the story. They didn't the generation. Talk. Yes, they didn't talk about it. They kept that silence to live. As part of this investigation, we sit down with singer Charlie Wilson, who was born and raised in Tulsa. What's up, y'all? This is Charlie Wilson. Sir Charles. <laughs> the band that made him famous, the Gap Band, is named after the very streets at the entrance to the neighborhood. Greenwood, Archer, and Pine. Because we all knew, have been told what had happened on Greenwood in 1921, the, the race riots. So we decided to take on that name, because we knew we was going to go all over the world, at least I did. <laughs> he says that when the band was on tour back in the day, they tried to tell the world then about what happened in Greenwood. Well, people were just kind of looking at us like, are you sure? I've never heard this story before. So, I mean, you know, even if we told the story, a lot of times, nobody really responded to it because they just never heard of the story because it was forbidden to talk about, about it, so it was hushed. We'll hear more from Charlie Wilson in our podcast, Tulsa's Buried Truth, available wherever you download podcasts, on your phone, for example. If you subscribe now, you'll get new episodes every Tuesday. Also tonight on Soul of the Nation, Oscar-nominated actress and singer Andra Day from the film The United States vs. Billie Holiday. She ends our series with her performance. I really hope you'll tune in tonight, Soul of the Nation, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, here on ABC. Sounds like a special night, Steve. Thanks very much. Let's go to Ginger.